Just turn on and off the wave of an arm. This is the light, folks. G'day, guys. What's cracking? It's Ralph here. And today we're doing something quite different. And you've worked that out already because you're like, where the heck are you? Are you in a cave? I'm pretty much in a cave. Now, this is the second recording of this video that we tried last night. And if you stick around till the end of this video, you'll see some of the bloopers and highlights from last night. That was an utter disaster. But we're having another crack at it tonight because I've been sent some lights by Hoko Light and I'd like to share them with you because um, in the photography field, there are times when we need lights. Um, and so they sent me three different lights that I wanna to talk to you about. And the first is this. <laughs> This is the Cobb Portable Work Light. Cobb means chip on board. It means that the light can be sustained and level. And as you can see, it has a stand like this and the stand goes as such. And then the light itself can actually twist in half. And so you can have half pointing one way and half pointing the other. There's a couple of magnets on the bottom. So you can mount the light on metal, super handy, right? And as you can see, it's quite firm. So how bright is this? This is 2,500 lumens. You still should be able to see me quite well lit as I walk away from the light. And that's why I wanted to do it in this dark space, a space that if we turn off all the lights, it's this dark. And if we turn on the lights, well, it's this light. It's quite bright, but there's some functionality with this light that you need to know about. So the whole thing weighs about 500 grams. It's very bright and do not shine it into your eye globe like I just did, because all you'll be able to see for a week is just spots. And there's one button on top. That's a power button. If you hold it down, the light goes off. Touch it down, the light comes on. But then if you want to change between modes, all you do is press the button. So we have a double light we have no light at all, which is what happens when you leave it on for more than five seconds and then you press the button. It won't change mode, it'll turn it off. So you press the button to come back again. So we have both, we have a spotty. And this can spot, have a look at this. And then we tighten it down. So that's really loose and wide. And then we go all the way like that. So look how powerful that is. Now that space over there is 10 meters away and that's how bright it becomes. You can have a spotty with a wide light to accompany it or you can have spotty by itself, wide light by itself. You can have spotty and wide light dimmed, nice and gentle dim. So we have a flashing red light in case you need to have a beacon that says, look at me, I'm here. So you might want to mark a point or you might want to tell everybody else you're in trouble and that's it. So this is a great light if you're vlogging and you want a, a whole host of other uh, uses for this light or you simply want to light a broad aspect of where you are in the dark this light's great on board this light is a 4000 milliamp battery and to charge it up takes between two and a half and three hours and regardless of the setting you'll get about five hours use straight from it and you can angle it any way you like so the COB Workman Portable Light is here. And we'll look at this, it even folds in half like so. So you can stick that in your bag. Just beware that it's quite easy for this once it's in your bag to hit the power button. If you hit that power button, you also have on the back side a charging port with the four little blue lights to tell you how charged it actually is. And as you can see from this, plenty of juice left in it. Oh, so we've got a bit of studio lighting. All right, the next light is the 1000 lumen hunting headlamp with motion detector. What? Well, it looks like this, but you don't actually wear it with a cap. So let me take my cap off, put my cap backwards and put this on. It has an adjustable band and it's just standard like a bit of elastic, but here's where it gets super cool. So I'm gonna turn it on on top and that is quite bright. Let's have a look at that. And as you can see, if I walk over here and these doors get brighter and brighter. Now this lamp actually then leaks down. This is a 90 degree hinge. So it can move from here to here. So you can see the ground. So if you're walking around, you can see where you're going to walk and what that looks like. But that's not where the fun really ends if i click on the right button that turns it on and off once it's on 
I can go through a series of lights. So this has a spotlight LED and a circular wider light. I go click again. It takes away the spotlight. And the coolest part is perhaps the red light. The reason the red light is so vital is when you're doing photography, you don't want your eye pupils to be like based on bright lights. And so the idea is that you use red light. Red light is the lowest frequency of light um, available to the human eye, and it's the least adjusting our eyes have to do to a light. And so you can see the controls on your camera by using a red light, and it's ideal. And this is just the right amount of brightness, right? So if I'm looking at my camera, my camera's here, my head's here, and I can see all the detail on my camera without my eyeball just going blowing blowing out now i'm going to click it again it's going to turn it off and then i'm going to click it again and it's going to go back to red which is handy and then i'm going to go another one this means well we're in trouble and again then we go to green green why green you say because apparently green is good for wildlife yes they're not scared of green so if you're hunting things at night you can use a green light and your chances of scaring it away are minimized that's what I'm told. Anyway, so we'll turn it off. We'll turn it on back to green, which is really handy that it turns back to where it was because the Cobb Workman light didn't do that. It reset to the start of the sequence. And then we go back to where we started. So we have a, a spotlight. We have both spotlight and wide light. We have a wide light. We have a reduced brightness of wide light. We have a red light, a red flashing light, and that's it. This is where it's really cool. On top, there are two buttons. One of those buttons is a power button. The other is the motion detector button. So if you hit the button on the left, it puts the motion detector on, and you can go through all the modes with this light as you can with the other one. That's not a problem, but here's where it's really cool. What you can do is put it on the motion sensor, so all you need to do is wave in front of the light, and it goes off. And I just go wave. If I'm walking along and I want darkness, I just do this. But then if I want the light back on, I just wave in front of it and it works again. So there's a, a sensor in the front of the light. Cool, right? But, but there's another one. There's another light. Let me just grab it for you. So here it is. Here is the light. And the idea is that you put it on and all of a sudden you realize, like I have a fat head, right? My head is fat. It ain't that fat. Like that's quite a severe, like it'd be good if it was just a bit further. It doesn't like match my head, see? Like, so it would be better if that was a snugger fit, but we can, we can handle that. We can handle that. Now, the, this is a COB light and this is an LED light. And watch the LED light. It moves down at this angle and this gives you 230 degrees wide light at 1300 lumens. So it's nice and bright, and I should show you exactly what it looks like. You ready? It, it literally lights up all of this. I can see it so, so clearly. And so there's two lights, and if you press the light on the back, it runs you through the different modes. So this is strobe. I should put a strobe warning on this video. This is the spotlight that you can actually zoom in. Look at this. So you can have it spotlight or you can go wider to a square. Oh, never. Uh, let's go again. That's a lesser spotlight. That's a strobe spotlight. That's off. And we're back on to the Stormtrooper light band on my head, which just feels like I'm an angel. And trust me, this is the only thing that's going to get me closer to angeldom. Now, here's where it gets really cool. That's the back button. If you press the, turn it off, and you press the front button, it turns it on but with the difference. Because as you'll see, you see the little light diode there? And if I go past here, that's my sensor. So it's the same as the last one. So you just want to turn the light on. And again, if you press the function button, you can put it through any of the things that you like and use this to turn it on and off. 
that's that's cool, right? So as you've seen with this video, as it's come up, you've seen the different prices and the different names. There's some links in the description below. And if you're after some epic headwear, and I use this when I'm doing astro or anything at night, when we're going doing some fire spinning or we're shooting glow worms or I'm walking around the, the city and I want a light that can actually just turn on and off the wave of an arm, this is the light, folks. This will give you about four or five hours use. It takes an hour, hour and a half to charge up. It's USB. They're all USB charging ports, so you plug it in. You don't need to get batteries out and muck about with that. It's just plug it in and un unplug it. Uh, and this, this is it's, it's semi-comfortable. If I loosen that off a little bit. My, just, my, my critique is, if you see the weight of this kind of pulls it down a bit like this. I realize this is frustrating for you. I apologize. We're going to get to the bloopers in just a sec. But it, it pulls it down because this doesn't fit snugly. This doesn't... Can you see that? My ugly bald head. Like, yeah, it doesn't really fit snug and therefore it's not comfortable. But if you're wanting one that is comfortable, this one, nice and simple on your head. Two buttons. And the other thing about this is I can actually make the spotlight more of a spotlight. See that? So watch this, see how back wall? It goes from really wide to a square. It's a little bit strange that it's a square, but it's a good talking point amongst friends as it was with me and my friends when I was testing it out. So good, so thank you Hoko Light for sending it. Really, really appreciate your generosity and your support of the channel. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'd appreciate the thumbs up, it costs you nothing, just punch it. And if you subscribe and you don't like, you can then unsubscribe. But thanks so much to all of you. We've got to 5,000. With the 5,000 subs, you're legends. I really appreciate you. And thank you Hoko Light for sending this. Um, have a great time watching the next little bit of this video. G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today, at the risk of my life, with a plover's nest just behind me, and those birds, they're plovers, swinging around, I'm likely to be killed in this video, and if so, you've tuned in to the right one, right? But tonight, I want to talk about torches, which is why I'm here, and Hocko Light have reached out to me and said, can you review some of our torches? So I thought I would disrupt the neighborhood by shining bright lights around the place and get everyone really ticked at me. So you've, you've, you've picked a good one to watch. It has these 360 degree version, we get more by dogs now. 360 degree, <laughs> pretty nifty, right? So stressful. So stressful. Living in this neighborhood, sometimes I get really wound up that all the dogs are barking and I've just worked out why the dogs bark. Some some hooligan is blogging in the park just down the road. Oh, I'm sorry, neighbors. I'm sorry.